Do you want to improve your hip fire aim? Do you want to take down enemies with headshots like this? Or do you want to clutch squads like this? While you are at right place, today I will teach you how you can take your aim and accuracy of your hip fire to the next level. Today I will teach you how I did it, after changing my all settings. So make sure you watch the video till end, remember even one point from my explanation can change your entire game. So smash that like button, and let's begin our journey. So in order to improve your hip fire, you just have to focus on only few things. I will not give any useless and only time consuming tips like others, which doesn't work at all, and with those tips you only waste your time. Instead I share only effective tips and tricks which are simple to understand and are useful in classic and DDM matches. So first of all set your TPP gyro, DPP ADS and TPP camera view once and for all. Some guys do keep changing these three settings time to time, which only results in their loss in gameplay. Don't get influenced by some YouTubers, don't keep copying settings and sensitivity on daily basis, these things only makes your gameplay like noobs. The guys play on higher devices like iPhones and iPads, so how can you expect that their settings and sensitivity will work for you? So make sure you set these three settings once and stick to them. If you are on Android, I will say don't go beyond 300 gyro and TPP camera view is totally dependent on you, for me on Android is 86. After setting your perfect sensitivity, it's time to find your perfect joystick. Now wait. You will be thinking this was about hipfire why is he discussing joystick or sensitivity? So remember, these play a major role in your hipfire and taking down your enemies, when you will face joystick stuck, how can you expect you can clutch a squad, so wait and pay attention. Now to find your perfect joystick position, close your eyes and land your thumb on screen, wherever it lands and feels comfortable it's your perfect position, and talking about joystick size it totally dependent on you. But if you are playing on third layout, set a bigger joystick like in between 100 to 150. When you will set your joystick, come to TDM and start doing this zigzag movement like I am doing. If you are able to do this then your joystick is perfect for you, then you can do any movement on that joystick. If not, keep changing size and position by 2 or 3% until you will be able to do this. Now these settings were basics for the hipfire and for your entire gameplay. After these it's time for training and building that muscle memory for those deadly hip fire headshots. So in hip fire you have to focus on four things. Number one, your crosshair placement. Number two, your hip fire spread. Number three, hip fire aim transfer. And number four, tracing. These are the only things which you need to focus on in order to get that deadly hip fire. So come to training ground for 10 minutes and start practicing these five drills for two minute each. Starting with our crosshair placement drill, this drill will help you to build that muscle memory so that you will keep your crosshair above the head level of enemy always, you all know how much is it important to hit headshots in close range. By practicing like keeping your crosshair above the head level, before engaging in a fight, will actually help you in hitting maximum headshots. Some of the YouTubers teach that keep your crosshair on chest region and your gun's recoil will take it to head, maybe it's true. But until your gun recoil will start hitting headshots, you will find yourself in the lobby of next game by then. So better to do it by yourself and improve your skills. Also you can practice this drill like this. Trace the moving targets while moving zigzagging forward, your crosshair placement is so important. The only thing which makes different in today's era, is this thing. So if you want to clutch squads, better to improve yourself. Moving on to our next drill which will help you to master your hip fire spread of any weapon. Come to this place in training, place a graffiti, take your favorite weapon, and while moving keep shooting like I am doing. If you cannot control the hip fire spread of guns, you're not a good player, it's very important part of hip fire that you should be able to control the hip fire spread of guns, in order to hit those headshots, maybe while hot dropping you will not find M4. At least you should know how to use barrel or AKM. Keep practicing this drill for 2 minute daily, and trust me you will get results within 2 or 3 days. Now you have covered your maximum part of hip fire, that's crosshair placement and hip fire spread. 
Before teaching the rest of topics, make sure you like and leave any comment, whether it's good or bad, or if you have nothing to say, just comment any emoji, and if you found my videos helpful, make sure you share it with your friends. After crosshair placement and hip fire spread, it's time for aim transfer. This technique comes into place, when a full squad comes at you together like dogs, and you down one or two, and then you choke to transfer your aim to third one. To improve this weak point of yours, come to training apartment, and start practicing this exercise drill for about 2 minutes. As you can see, this drill will take your hip fire aim to that level, I swear you will thank me for sharing this to you. Without seeing anything, just switch your aim in between these three doors of the apartment, while moving. If you want you can end it with a drop shot as well, imagining three enemies are coming from three doors. But make sure you keep moving, and not lift your finger from your joystick. Now coming to our last point in the hip fire, that is tracing. No matter, if you can control the hip fire spread of any gun. If you can switch between targets. If your crosshair placement is top notch. But if you failed to trace the movement of the enemy, like when he jiggles or give any other movements, your all movement and all efforts will be useless, and you will die without any doubt. So to improve your hip fire aim tracing, there is no better drill than this one. This is my one of the favorite ones, and I love to practice it. This training exercise has the potential to take you bot like tracing to the pro level. I know many people find this boring and skip this one when they enter to train. But trust your master today and practice this, I am not saying keep practicing this for whole day, just 2 or 3 minutes is enough. Keep your movement speed of standard settings in half, as it's the same speed by which your enemy perform jiggle, again many will tell you to keep its speed at maximum, you know who I am talking about, but remember my words. That will give you nothing but regrets. So set settings like this and practice like this, but make sure you keep moving your joystick, so these were the 4 solution to the 4 problem on the 4 parts of hip fire. I bet you will not find any complete guide on hip fire like this. After all these drills, there is a 1 more training exercise, if you want to you can practice that as well. But before explaining, remember it's optional, you can skip this one. However if you are facing problems in using cover with hip fire this one is for you. This body movement will take your cover fights to the insane level. Whether you fight from left or right side, you will hit headshots and you're gonna win anyway, just master this one. It's useful from DDM matches to classic ones. Take a bus, park it like this, imagining this is the container like in TDM, practice like this, pull your joystick 45 degree on which side you wanna move and come back to cover as soon as possible with a crouch at the end to increase the stability of hip fire, and to hit more and more headshots. See I will increase the transparency of the joystick for better understanding. This is so awesome drill, if you master this you will rock in any fight from any side. Now many will tell in comments that this is copied, but watch my previous training routine guide and you will get your answer. Anyways, I hope you guys have learned something new today. Now I would like to say only one word for you, believe in yourself and you can pull it, no matter how hard is the panic situation. If you are still watching comment a white heart maybe you will find yourself lucky. Now watch me play with another short steps master Chow PUBG, and see how we clear new event in no time. Chow is a very good player, I will share his channel link in description, do pay a visit, and subscribe him as well if you like his content. See you in next one till then enjoy this.
What's one? Oh no no no. Okay, wait, I have to run it. Watch out! Well done. Oh, yeah. People landing. I don't know. I hear what's one. I one piece. I don't understand. Oh, three people. Three people and they went. This is three more. We were five. Maybe they in the middle. What do you mean? Don't finish, maybe it's teammates here. One more here. Watch out! 